You guys ready? Okay, let's get started. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I have this little case thing. So this is like a, I don't know, like a, a super stacker and it has these little latches. So my friends with kids use these to hold snacks for their kids because I hear that when you have young children, you uh, give them lots of snacks to keep them occupied in public. So they use these, but what's really cool, and I'm gonna switch over here, is that it fits perfectly with a box of crayons. So if you have you know, children that are uh, accident prone, or you just wanna make sure you don't get little crayon marks all over your kids' stuff, or you wanna sell these, these are a really great option. So I'm really excited about that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put a name and a little animal on it. So this one I've already cut and weeded. This is a cute little tiger from the kids pack. It's really cute. Also, just like take a note at how little those lines are for the eyes. I cut that on a cameo, okay? So a lot of people say that the cameo can't cut very well, but check it out, that's pretty awesome. So now I need to weed out a name here. So um, one thing that, that is interesting about being in here is that it looks really bright in here, but the room itself is a little bit dark because we have to put fancy you know, TV lights on. So check this out. I have this little, I don't know, like USB flashlight thing. And I have a little USB hub here. It is the best little weeding light. Check that out. So I'm going to use that to weed out my name. And so this is good because it helps you get that extra light that you need for something like this. So this is my weed box that I did. Um, I always like to do a weed box with my designs. And we're going to go ahead and pull up the box from here. And my little A got a, lot, a little bit caught, but that's no problem. And then we're just going to use this to hold this down a little bit. Cool. And so we have that there right here. Oh yeah, and someone said those boxes are great for storing rhinestones. You know what? I actually saw a pack just like this over at Michael's with like a whole, I don't know, it was almost like a dresser or cube organizers. And I almost got it for my rhinestones. So yeah, those are really good for rhinestones for sure. So now I'm just getting this middle part of the A out. I just poked through the paper. There you go. So now we have this weeded out. I'm gonna have this little piece here. So let me turn off this light so you can see it. All right, so we have this, and we have our name here, okay? So this is gonna stack right underneath my little tiger. And the reason why I didn't do registration marks is that it's not really necessary. Like I'm gonna put it right underneath there, so we're all good with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tiger and place him first, and then I'm just going to reuse the tape on it for the name because it's so little. So let's peel this up. So I have my whole tiger on my tape, okay? So now we're just gonna find our placement. It depends on how you like to apply it. I like to do a little horseshoe. Uh, it's all a matter of preference, so whatever you like is good. Let's drop this guy here, and then let me get my little scraper. So excited over this kids who hacking the project you can do with it. I know I really like it, and I actually have a video coming out either late this week or early next week where I do something super fun with it. I think you'll like it. All right, so. Let me go ahead and smooth this a little bit more. This material is a little bit tough to apply vinyl to, so you wanna just make sure you really smooth it. Okay, so if you have trouble with it, like it's coming up, um, one thing that you can do is I'm gonna peel it back, basically like flat on here. That way you're not pulling up on your vinyl, you're just pulling off of it, so that if you have a little piece come up like this one did here, you can smooth it down pretty easily. And also if you go this way, you're going in the same direction. And so you get these lines all set. Okay, so here's a, my little tiger. 
So we have that all set. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pick up this knee. Oh, and I missed, his little eyebrow stayed behind on the tape, so I'm gonna bring the tape down. Let me go ahead and fix that. So sometimes with stuff like this, the tape is a little bit too strong. So that teeny tiny little eyebrow did not want to stay there. So I went ahead and placed that back on and we're all good. So let's go right here. We're gonna smooth it. And now I can go ahead and peel up my name. There's my name. We're just gonna go ahead and place it right there. I'm gonna use my finger to smooth it at first. Now, if you have trouble with your FDC vinyl, like it's not staying very well, you can also use a heat gun or a blow dryer to kind of uh, set it basically, and that'll help with it. Shoom. So there you go, and then let me put my crayons in here. So now you have your little case. You can use it for crayons, you can use it for snacks. Um, let me go ahead and put this little white paper behind it so you can see it. And you can even take this and put like a little white piece of paper at the top so you can see the little tiger better. But pretty cute. And so this was using just, these are just scrap pieces of FDC vinyl that I had sitting around. And you can use scrap pieces and make this pretty easily for a project. Pretty cute, right? And so this is from the kids pack. So we're able to do that. Cool, so uh, let's do a couple more kids pack stuff. So I have folders that have stickers on them, apparently. Uh, I picked these up from Walmart. They were really cheap. Um, they have folders that are like 15 cents but it's funny, like, <laughs> they say on here, paper folder, and it's not like a sticker, you can't peel it up. So I went ahead and splurged, and I got the 55 cent folders, so I could have this plain front on it. So, uh, you know, we're, back, we're a little fancy with these, but you know, it works out pretty well, right? Okay, so I have a couple more different designs. So these are folders that are gonna be for a subject in school, so we have, um, two here, this is English and this is math, okay? So these both use the kids pack. Let me get my little light and shine it on here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, use my weed edge tool, kind of grab right here. And we're gonna lift this up and we're ready to peel. So this is a little giraffe, really cute. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the little lines so we can go ahead and pick these sections out. So we have a line here, one here. And then we're just gonna keep going. So do you guys have any questions while I'm doing this? What is the little white block that you put the line on? Um, it's just like a little like USB power strip block. Um, I got it for Christmas, so I I don't really know. I know it's from Amazon, um, just like a little like hub thing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna be really close to it. Cause you guys couldn't see it, so I'm gonna turn off my light and just get really close so I can see the lines. So then we have a little section here. We're gonna get that little guy. And we have this. So this is like the, you know, this is normal FDC vinyl. Uh, this was cut five inches wide and I'm not having any trouble weeding it. It's pretty easy. So the uh, one color designs are really good for your vinyl cutter. It works out pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this little guy. And we're just gonna keep going with it. I'm sure I look really funny, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So now we're gonna get this guy. I'm gonna bring this up. 
and check this out. Well, look at that little mouth and nose. I just took that piece off and look, I didn't have any trouble with it. Cut settings, guys. This is why you test cut. If you get your cut settings set well, weeding should be easy and fun. So we're gonna grab that little guy. Grab this little guy. This little piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Do you guys have any questions while I'm doing this? Uh, I saw something. Ikea has little lights like that. Yeah, this that little light is actually from Ikea. It was like $2. It was so cheap. So I actually use them on my desk a lot when I need to weed stuff. Just to make it easier. Let's get these little sections out of here. So I have these little tiny sections. Sometimes they give me trouble. Um, this would be good for tweezers if you want to use them for this. Uh, I like using my pick tool for everything, so I kind of do that. All right, so let's check it, and then we just need the middle part of this math to take it out. Okay? So here is my little giraffe. Um, any problems with version 4 and silhouette? You know, <laughs> a few, nothing super terrible. Uh, version 4, the stable one that's out now, is no trouble. Um, I would not download beta until, like, I wouldn't download beta is what I mean to say. Wait till there's a stable version. So let's go ahead and drop this. So I'm going to go ahead, bring my tape over to t see how much I need. <laughs> Miguel, <laughs> that's my brother-in-law. Hi, Miguel. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And now we're ready to do our tape. So we're going to drop this down. And now I can just smooth this on here. Now, uh, I am actually working on a tablecloth, so sometimes the pressure on your vinyl may not work as well. Um, if you're on a normal hard work surface, you should have no trouble peeling this up. But just as a warning, mine may not peel correctly. I don't know. Easy. It's our little math. And then let's use this little guy. And we're just gonna find our placement. And of course, you can do this with any color you want, your primary colors. Um, I did it in white because I would be totally honest with you, I bought this stuff during lunch and I did not know what colors I was going to get. <laughs> so white always works. So we're just gonna drop this on here. And now you can just lift this up. And the little letter popped up a little bit. That's no problem. And there we go. So now we have our little math. So easy thing to do. Um, you can even customize this too. So you could put like a name here or wherever teachers tell you to do that. You can get these like this. And these are really easy. You know, um, these were 55 cents. This uses maybe a quarter sheet of a 12 by 12 inch set of FDC. So this is what, like 25 cents? So you got about 75 cents in cost right here. So this would be a great thing. You could sell it for $2 or even $3 depending on where you live. Super easy and another great use that you can use the kids pack for. And so let me jump over here and I have another design from the kids pack that I wanna show you that I really love. And so let me go ahead. I'm gonna peel up this corner. Jennifer gotta pick up the Walmart pickup folders. I know, I love back to school time. I didn't love it when I was a kid, but now I do. I just, you can't beat those like cheap office supplies. I love it. So now we have this, and this is actually a zebra. So we're gonna go right here, grab this little piece. And what's great about these files is they're set up to weed easily. You can basically get a lot of the design in one pull. So we're gonna go right here, and then lift up on this section right here. Check this out. Look at how much of the design. This was just one pull. This was like 
one section that's that was there. So now I just have to get the rest of it. All right, so let me go right here, and there's a tiny section right here. We're gonna pick this up, pick this up, and do that. And now we have this little tail. Let me just make sure, nope, no line in there, so we're good. Got a little section on the ear, and then his little nose. And then I just have little eye pieces. I'm gonna use my tweezers to get these out. I have some super sharp ones that I like to use. And we'll get this. All right, and let me get this little part of the G. So now we have our English. Cute little zebra. Easy peasy. So let me go ahead and get this vine off my hand and I am actually going to use this piece of transfer tape that I just used for my little uh, draft. So let's go ahead and bring our transfer tape down. And let's smooth this out. So be honest, be totally honest with me. How many times do you reuse your transfer tape? Seriously. Because I, I know you guys don't use it just once. How many times do you reuse it? I have a friend of mine who uh, loves to save her craft supplies. She'd be great friends with all of you. And once I told her to change her transfer tape piece because it wasn't sticking well and that you should only really do like maybe two uses or something like that. And she looks at me and she goes, eh, this is like the fourth or fifth time. And I thought I was gonna die. So just be mindful. I know you guys like to reuse it. But at some point when it stops sticking, you run the risk of damaging the, the vinyl that you have there. So you also don't want to waste your material because you don't want to waste your material. Okay? So let's go ahead and drop this down on here. So we have our English. And let's go ahead and smooth that out. Check this out. Oops. Normal. It's fine. So now we have our little English. So I'm gonna show you kind of so you can see both of them. Easy peasy. You have two little folders that you can do with the kids pack. And these are like the good ones. Like I remember uh, when I was in school, five star is what like the cool kids had. So these are the these are the 55 cent, totally worth the extra 30 cents for the cool kid folders. So you can go right here, math and English, both done with our kids pack. So both of these are gonna cost you less than a dollar a piece to make and easy, easy. You can sell it for $2, $2.50, $3, um, all of that fun stuff. All right, so let me show you another thing. So let's say um, you have older kids, right? Like I don't know, like when I was in high school, I would, actually I might've, I might've liked this, this little thing but some kids don't. So we're gonna do a water bottle that we can do. Oh yeah, you could, and yeah, Jennifer, that's a great idea, and I think I mentioned it earlier, a lot of schools want your kids' names on everything, so this is super easy to add your kid's name to. All right, so I have this water bottle. It was from Walmart, it's an infuser water bottle. So this is really nice because uh, uh, Susan, who does videos as well, she got this at Walmart and she gave it to me, which is so nice because I had mentioned I wanted one. So we're gonna do a little two color decal on this. So this is if you have a cheerleader going to school. So let me jump over here and we're gonna go ahead and weed this design. So let me go ahead and this has an extra part on the outside because I do a weed box. So let's get this. I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right, so let's go ahead and peel this up. So here's our box. Nothing super exciting there. It just makes it easier for me to weed things if I have a little weed box. All right, so let's go ahead and lift this up. So when you weed your FDC vinyl, be careful. You don't want your vinyl to come back and stick on itself.
Oh no, I lifted this up too high. There we go. So let's go ahead and get these. So what I did is I knocked out a word from inside of here. So I need to kind of take out those little sections that I have going on. So let's go right back. Let's kind of peel this up. Now we have this section here. And I picked up this section with my weeding tool because I knew it would get caught. So I'm just gonna kind of check out where this was. I'm gonna turn on my light so I can see this. So here's something, this little piece here belongs on that. So I'm gonna use my light to find where the cut line is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place this back on there. Okay, let me find it, there it is. So now we're gonna take it and put it right here. And now I'm just gonna nudge it because it needs to be rotated a little bit. So that's where it goes, okay? Now, um, typically you wanna do registration marks uh, I think I just ripped them off with my other one, so we're gonna eyeball this whole thing, okay? So let's go ahead and weed this next color. So this is gonna be a name that comes out of there. So this is what goes there. Let's go ahead and get these pieces out. All right, so now we're ready to get our tape to drop this on here. So let's go ahead and get this off. And so this is going to go in here, okay? So I'm gonna cut a new piece of transfer tape because I really don't wanna get an old piece for this. I wanna get a nice, fresh one. And we're actually gonna get a bigger piece. And the reason why is that this is gonna cover the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this kind of pick up right here. Lisa, let's smooth this out. Let's pick that up. Okay, I would not recommend applying a two color decal this way, but this one's pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this on here. So here's our cheer design that I forgot to weed a little section out of the middle. There we go. So let's go ahead and drop that on there. And now we're ready to apply this to our water bottle. So to make it easier to apply, I'm gonna trim this closer because I want it to be as tight as I can to the actual design because of the tapering of the bottle and how it's curved and all that fun stuff. All right, so here's my water bottle. You can pick whatever side you want to apply it to. Um, let's see. I drink it this way, so I'm gonna apply it on this side. I was never a cheerleader, by the way. All right, so we have our decal here. We're gonna find our placement. And then we're gonna work from the middle out. So I just dropped the middle down and now I'm gonna smooth the sides. And I'm gonna use my scraper. And here's the cool thing, I use a silhouette scraper and the cool thing is it's curved, so it's super easy for tumblers. All right, let's lift that up. So now we have our little cheer cup. So really easy, two colors of FDC vinyl, a really fun back to school project that you can do. Cool, does that, how is that? Was that pretty easy? 
So all of these things are pretty easy to do. There's no real trouble in any of it. So I'm gonna do um, a little backpack. So right now I'm just weeding out. Lo and behold, you, you guys know me, I made a monogram. And so I cut this out in the new uh, Galaxy Black glitter. So that's the Caesar color, it's Galaxy Black. It's really cool. It's like, um, here, I'll, let me finish weeding this out and I'll show you. So it's got basically like an iridescent uh, glitter inside of it. It's a lot like a uh, white rainbow, if you guys have used that, or any of the confetti colors. So it's almost like, in a way, black confetti, but galaxy black sounds a million times cooler. So that's what they went with. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. And I'm just weeding out these little sections. And the cool thing about glitter vinyl is it's pretty easy. You can kind of just bend it a little bit to find the line and rip it out yourself. You don't really need a weeding tool all that much. So I'm gonna go like this. It also helps if you've made a million of your own monograms, so you kind of just instinctively know where to pull now. But I can't help it. All right, so here's the design. Now, be totally honest. How many of you, your first couple times making a heat transfer vinyl design, how many of you pressed on this square? You guys ever do that? You have that square around here and you pressed it on? I almost did that, but I see it all the time. Okay, so we need to press this monogram. Oh, I can press it to a backpack. Okay, so I got, this backpack is really cool because it has a little section in it for your laptop. So, there's my laptop. And I have this backpack. So, really pretty color, coral color. It's got a section in here. Check this out. So, this is labeled $14.88 from Walmart. I went to the checkout counter and it rang up for $5, okay? So, I'm not saying that's gonna be like that everywhere. I'm just saying I got it for $5. So, pretty fun backpack and it's got a nice fabric to it that you can press to, okay? So, I have my monogram and I'm gonna go ahead and press a monogram to this section here, okay? So let me go over to my heat press. So pressing a backpack can be kind of uh, tricky just because you have straps and different pockets and all that fun stuff. So these zippers are metal, which is really great, so that saves us some trouble. And so I can go ahead and put my backpack on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a pressing pillow and put a pressing pillow in this section here to make it easier for us to go ahead and press that. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh, cool. It's got a section in here for your school ID too. Which I guess now like you have to wear your school ID on lanyards. Okay, so this might take a couple presses just because this is so high up. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this back like this. Let's go ahead and drop our press real quick. So it's not gonna clamp down all the way because this backpack is so big and I have a pressing pillow in it. So we're just gonna do a couple seconds at a time and now we have it enough for my vinyl to stick, okay? But right now the, the vinyl's kind of just sitting on top. So we're gonna press it one or two more times just so we can get good pressure on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my pillow's underneath it. And now we can go ahead and bring our press and kind of hold it down. And again, I'm using my pink craft press. It is on the website. It's $2.95. It's a nine by 12 heat press and it's got a whole year warranty, which is really cool. Like most bargain presses are not gonna give you that. They're gonna give you three months at the most. But something like this, we have two years. So check this out. Actually, I'll go over here. So I have this nice black sparkly on this peach or coral or whatever color you wanna call this bag. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how the sparkles are like different colors? Like galaxy. <gasps> so yeah, this is a really cool color. And it's the same case with that I always say about the rainbow glitter. Not rainbow glitter, 
uh, white rainbow is that when you have colors like white and black, it's hard to actually see them sparkle from far away just because there's not a whole lot of like color variance in that to begin with. So when you do these, the white rainbow or the galaxy black, it kind of gives you a little bit more of that sparkle that you can see from far away. So then I can kind of take my backpack and we're gonna go over here and put my little folders in and my folders and my little composition notebook. We can put my crayons in here. Check this out, crayons. And then we can zip that up. Check it out, you have like a whole set of things you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip up this backpack. Maybe, zippers are apparently hard for me. And we can go right here. Actually, we'll go on this side. Check this out. If you're looking for something to do, you can almost do like whole back to school kits, okay? So you can offer your customers customized backpack, although I know some places they don't want your kids' names on a backpack. So you can always do this for the school name. You can do it for cheer, band, whatever kids like. And then check it out. Your water bottle will fit in here and all of your folders and crayons and everything. So this would be something cool. This backpack is $14, $14.88. Folders were $55 a piece. Composition books are like $1.50. The water bottle was $4.50. And so you can get all the supplies for this for like 20 bucks maybe. Maybe 25 if you get some fancy things. And you can easily, easily sell this backpack for like 75 okay? And if you have things like the kids pack um, or the teacher pack, those things are going to make it super easy. And it's a great bundle item for you guys to sell for your business. So when you do things like this, little things like notebooks and back to school items, bundle them. That is how you're going to make really good profits with all of these and get a lot of good customers. And it's super easy to do. I did all of this in 30 minutes with you guys. So it's pretty fun, right? So do you guys have any questions on any of it? Now don't forget, the, uh, uh, the kids pack is going to be your best friend with all of this. And so if you're in the Long Beach area, you can kind of, uh, if you're in the Long Beach area, come to the trade show, we're at ISS. Um, do I think items like this would do good in a craft fair or a school event? Oh yeah. Uh, school, depending on what kind of school it is. Now if you're like an elementary school, uh, absolutely. High school, I don't know. I don't know how those cutesy little animals are gonna do. Uh, but if you're gonna work with a school, it's a great opportunity because you can kind of get the the animals on there and you can customize it with names. Uh, I have also a video coming up. If you guys are interested in like parties, uh, I know some people will do sign parties. The uh, animal outline, the ones that I use for the notebook, are perfect for coloring book pages. So I have a video coming out where I've made a coloring book shirt with all of these, okay? And so I just realized I had another design here. Let me show you this design. It's so cute, okay? So this is probably my favorite one from the pack. So let me go ahead and grab this corner and I'm gonna weed this up. So this is our FDC vinyl. Again, this is silver. And again, test your cut settings. You'll get them weeded up pretty easily. So let's go right here. We have that line. And then we have this right here. We're just gonna go ahead and do this big pull. And so one thing that's cool about the kids pack that you're not gonna get from a lot of places that maybe make cheapy designs is that we make these with you guys in mind when it comes to cutting and weeding. So you're gonna find really big sections that you can pull at once to weed out. Like you're not gonna have a bunch of little tiny sections if we can help it. So let's go right here. We're gonna grab this. And now we're gonna pull this little section. And then let's get this little guy. And then we're just gonna get the little toes. And we'll pull this up. And 
almost done. We get this little tail. Let's grab this little guy. And we're just gonna go ahead and peel up just a couple more sections. And this is actually, you know, there's a couple sections in here and these are pretty easy to weed. So this would actually be a pretty good, fun project to work with your kids. Like, I know a lot of you basically hire your kids to do this. <laughs> so you can kind of have them do these designs and I think they'll have a lot of fun with it as well. So now we just have these little eyes left and then we're all good. And then there's little tiny pieces in here that I want to get. So I got that little guy. And this little guy. Check out, this one's my favorite. Look at him. Look at him. So cute. Did you look at him? I love him. So let me go ahead and get my tape to pick it up. All right, so let's peel this up. We're gonna take it this way and use our scissors. Thank you, Sandra and Jerry. Someone affirms me saying things are cute. <laughs> By the way, that's a sneak peek of me in the office every day. I just walk around showing people things that I make and say, look at this, so cute. So let's go ahead and smooth this out. Let's get this, and guess what? I've got a composition notebook I can put this on. So let me go ahead and open my fun little backpack that I got for $5, that I should not have gotten for $5, but it was meant to be for this Facebook Live. Let me put him on here. So he's gonna take up basically the whole space. So let's go ahead, find it here. Check that out. Here's my little scraper. Now we'll just lift this up. And now you have a cute little notebook, again with the kids pack. So the kids pack came out in perfect time. It's perfect for back to school. You can do a lot of stuff for your kids, for everyone else's kids, and for your business. So you definitely, definitely should check that out. Get it, when you get a chance, check it out and purchase it if you can. Cool? All right, so do you guys have any other questions before we go?